hello everyone so today i am going to add a shield to the character so when we equip the sword the character will equip the shield as well like this so when we put back the sword he will put back the shield as well so similar to the npc character when he see the player he will equip the shield as well and when he put back he will put back the shield as well like that so that's what i am going to cover today and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right so i have imported this shield model which i'm going to use so first let's preview this shield model and see how it looks on the character when the character is in this blocking stars so okay to the left hand uh, let's add a socket handle socket okay now let's add a preview asset okay first we have to remove attached assets now got it add preview asset and shield okay that's not the way shield is supposed to be so let's rotate the socket like this and move it down okay maybe like this right that should be good enough it's not perfect okay all right now here we have our shield socket but uh, can i just add it to the character let's see how it looks when we are in a normal mode so that means okay it looks like this which is bad when in the normal mode it's bad but sword and shield idle mode it looks all right maybe it's a little too big all right so instead of 40 let's try 35 Maybe 30 right that seems good enough okay now in the idle mode the when the character is not equipped the shield it should be in the back of the character so let's see here now let's add another socket maybe to the spine three spine 
three socket okay let's leave the name like that and here also let's try add in the shield okay that's not the way it's supposed to be let's rotate it first and move it like this now let's play the animation right uh, everything seems fine except there's a little issue here when running so let's slightly move it like this okay now we have all the sockets we need now let's see how to add it to the character so so we have already created a blueprint for the melee weapon right so let's take a look at here what else we have nothing so let's create a child blueprint class from this melee weapon and let's call it bp shield the reason to extend is because maybe we will have common characteristics or behaviors in future uh, when we extend the system so yeah that's why so here instead of the blade let's add the shield instead of 0.6 i'll make it one like this okay now and the side scroller character uh, let's drag and drop this bp shield under the mesh like this and I'll set it to the spine 3 socket with everything 0 like this alright now let's see how it looks okay now when we equip the weapon uh, the character should equip the shield as well so how to do that <laughs> So, do we need another animation? Okay, let's just try without animation. Um, here, under the equip weapon part, let's do this. Let's add a sequence like this. Um, oh, maybe not here. Let's add a sequence here. And this part is about uh, equipping the sword. So here I'll add another part to equip the shield 
so let's get a reference to the shield and attach the component oh not this one this is the target parent should be the mesh and the socket name should be the ha left hand socket handle uh, let's copy that here and a socket all right and then just like this let's move it to the hand over time to everything zero zero okay now let's see how it looks right did it look good It didn't really look good. Oh, wait, wait. Here, everything should keep word. That's the issue. Now, let's see. <laughs> right. It's not very realistic, but let's keep it that way. Or we will have to. Do we have a equip animation? Yeah, this montage. Draw sword. Yeah, here maybe we should move the hand well let's duplicate this the left hand should go a little to the back I'm not an animator but let's see what we can do Let's set a key here. Let's add another key here and apply. Okay. That doesn't look very good, but let's see. Oh, when it's running, we have a problem. Let's fix that. Now let's 
empty. Okay, so when we put back the sword, we also for, should put back the shield as well. So for that, this is the equip weapon. shift weapon here let's add another sequence let's duplicate this two the target use the shield now here instead of thigh left socket we should move it to the spine three socket back to the back of the character all right let's see Right, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this episode right here. So I modified the sheath animation a little bit now it looks like this it's still not good enough but that's all for today like that okay so let's stop this episode here so in the next episode let's work on blocking with the shield for the player and also for the employer uh, for the npc character and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club link would be in the description below and the project files will also be available here for download. Thanks for watching. See you in another episode. Goodbye.